Yeah, this is my very first day on my internet station. I'm sitting at the uh, library in Roxbury, Massachusetts, and all of a sudden, I just saw two big turkeys eating on Warren Avenue. And this is my opening day for the installation of my YouTube station. My name is Musal Matt Meacham Jr. I'm a writer, a traveler, and an explorer. I've written over oh, about 150 books. They're all on Amazon. You can, most of my books are, are available over the internet. I've traveled. And at this very moment, I'm enjoying Fritos, the original corn chips. I'm not advertising for Fritos, but maybe someone at Fritos will see me eating, and yeah, they may ask me to advertise for them. And maybe I can make a big bundle that way. Well, I haven't made my first million yet, but it's in the making. So, I'll give you my background. I'm a 72-year-old I'm a, uh, man with a 50-year-old daughter and a 42-year-old girlfriend. What do you think about that? I'm a graduate of Tufts University. I've taught at MIT. Believe me, I did. I did. I, University of Southern California. Uh, Detroit, University of Detroit, Kenyatta University. These are the places that I've actually instructed actually been a teacher. So I'm only giving you a background of who I am and what I am. I'm about a lot of things. So basically what I'll be talking about on my YouTube station are the things that hit me. There are many things that I would be talking about. I think the best way to start is to start with the pride community. I think that's about the hottest subject going on right now. And let's talk about the pride community. Not that I'm in or out, it's just that let's talk about it. Well, the pride community is, is international. You have a pride community in every major country. But the pride community is, in many countries, illegal. They are outcasts. So, my number one premise is this, that there's one God, and God created everything. So all my arguments, all my discussions evolve from that one belief, and that one belief is that I am a single servant, a special servant, and all servant, I am responsible to Almighty God. And then people say, who is God? Look up in the sky. He's created in the sky. Have you ever considered beyond the sky? Imagine looking up at night and look at all those stars up there. That's God. Millions of stars. That's God. But some people feel that he had to come down here. He had to be a man. God didn't have to do anything. God is all that, that you see. And all that you cannot see. And that's who I believe in. The most powerful of anything that exists. If you remember in the book, I think the book that Moses wrote, and I'm not sure what the letters do to Rama or whatever, you know when Moses, when Moses had to go see God, he saw God as fire because you cannot see God and live. Imagine something as fantastic as God and you live. So I'm like that guy, Moses. I accept the fact that I cannot envision God, but you know, men have tried thousands of years to say God is this or God is that. God is everything. Now, all my discussions, all my arguments, everything that I discuss on this channel, which will 
be entitled Revelations. Why Revelations? Everybody talks about the book of Revelations when I look at the YouTubers. Excuse me. So I decided what I would do, I would open up a YouTube station in Boston, Massachusetts. And I would also open up a YouTube station in several countries in Africa. In Africa, yes. I'm an African American. So, this is my first installment. And the thing is, as I said, the first thing that we would talk about is the pride community. I think these, these are my thoughts. These are real people. They have their own issues. And what has happened is you have a bunch of people who've come into a community that they have something, it must be something that they all have in common. This is Roxbury, Massachusetts. I'm at Dudley Station. Uh, of course, you hear sirens in the background. Well, there are always sirens in the background. But as I was talking, my first installment will be about the pride community. I, I'm neither there, here or there. It's just that I look at reality. The reality is that these are human beings in which God created. Think about it. These are human beings which God created. So how, so how do we deal with that? How do we deal with that? Oh, like African Americans, or Africans were people who God created. God created everything. And we'll start with that as being my initial comment on the, on the pride community. Now, there are lesbians in my family, and I'm sure there are lesbians in, in, in many of your families, and I'm sure there are lesbians looking at this video. There are homosexual men. There are homosexual men in my family, and I'm sure out there there are homosexual men in your families. So, my premise, all these out, these outcasts, as we call uh, these, we have to first start with this premise. The first premise that we must start on is this. God created everything. Now, I, I, I love the prophet Jesus. What did Jesus say? Love thy neighbor as thou self. And when this prophet a man came on earth. I think he, he preached a pretty good sermon. Love thy neighbor as thyself. And his whole thing was about the love of humanity. And I think we got to bring that into the issue. I mean, bring that into the picture. When we look at these, say of these communities or people, or, or what about the people in the Amazon? They are not Christians. They are not Muslims. All they are just humans. Do you know anything about the Amazon? The Amazon Indians who live butt naked, who climb trees. I, as I understand it, they have no the religion that we understand. That's, that's nothing like in, within those communities, within the, the, the uh, communities in the Amazon. I mean, the deep Amazon, they, the Christianity is not there. Islam is not there. Hinduism is not there. Didn't God create these people too? They, they never heard of Jesus. Are they all going to burn in hell? See, we, we have to get outside of the box as uh, one of my Rwandan executives said to me. To see cl the clear picture of things. We have to get outside of the box. Because we all see things differently. And it's a shame that millions die over religious belief. Millions die over a religious belief. Let me sign off right now.
because I want to finish my chips and I want to go into the library. I'll talk to you later.